This is a follow-up to my first video about quick relief for pain using EFT tapping. Uh, in the last video, number one, um, about tapping, it was more of a symptom-oriented version of tapping and more for quick release of some pain, some quick alleviation of pain, which uh, is often not a lasting um, result. It's something to use in the moment to help alleviate some pain and it can be very practical and easier way to uh, to go about it. But the deeper, more lasting changes usually occur when you focus on the actual root memories that uh, preceded the condition. And remembering that in this work, this is a trauma-oriented approach and we make an assumption that the root of anything you're experiencing, whether it's emotional or physical pain, is actually some form of emotional trauma. Uh, whether that's a big catastrophic trauma or what you would call a small t trauma um, or repeated small traumas, any of these things can be at the root of a condition. And so the simplest way is to simply look back and see where and when in your life did a pattern begin to show up, whatever physical symptoms showed up, pain. And to look at what was going on in your life at that time or did some specific event happen just before this condition began. And when I ask people that question, more often than not, they have an answer for it. They have some some clear sense of it. If you don't, it's a little bit harder. You have to, you know, maybe try a few things that are possibilities. But if you have a sense that you know of some emotional experience, traumatic emotional experience that you had before a chronic pain uh, developed or any pain pattern developed, then you have a specific memory or image to work with. And that's the deeper way to work with EFT always, is to get specific about specific memories and to work through those memories as a way of shifting a whole pattern. Now just because you f work through one memory and diminish that memory and all the associated emotions of that memory to where it's a zero, uh, that's great. Just doing that one memory may not be the whole thing. There may be a series of memories that happened around the same time and you might need to do at least a few of them. Uh, but it's a great beginning just to identify one important memory to work through. In the next video that I make, I'll be actually demonstrating and talking more about how to approach a memory and work through that memory using EFT tapping as a way to shift a, uh, a pain condition in the body.